century ago, it was very much felt that humans really had negligible impact on, on nature. Nature was so big, how could we possibly make a big change to this? What we're saying in effect by, by defining an Anthropocene is to say, no, actually humans are a major geological force um, and if, if anything, probably the signi most significant geological force on the planet. So what we're looking at here is a series of graphs. Then in the 1950s, the United States started doing more testing, the atomic bomb testing and atmospheric testing, and the levels of plutonium in the app in our core started to increase. So we're starting to map the amount of plutonium that's in the atmosphere that got down into the sediment, into the core, into our small lake. Through fine resolution measuring, we were able to actually uh, follow the atmospheric levels of plutonium. So they, yeah, uh, during the atomic bomb testing, they were actually measuring plutonium levels in the atmosphere. Well, we can actually see a parallel curve of plutonium in the, in the mud sediments in the bottom of the lake. If geologists, who after all are the people who, I, who found the, the plutonium in the rocks and the petroleum in the rocks, if they accept that there is a fundamental change that's due to humans, then maybe action will be taken. <laughs>